turbine oil and jet fuel are listed as hazardous materials and by properly draining the oil system and preserving the fuel system, the requirement to ship the engine as dangerous goods can be eliminated. You should always refer to your local hazmat shipping requirements to verify what your specific shipping requirements are from the location you are shipping the engine from. Hi, I'm Ian Matney and I'm with CD Aviation Services. Today I'm going to be showing you how to properly drain your oil and preserve your fuel control for shipment. First, I'm going to start with draining the oil from the oil system. The only tools required to drain the oil is a 1 inch socket and ratchet or a 1 inch wrench and a suitable container to drain the oil into. On both inlet up and down engines, draining the oil out of the gearbox will require the chip detector and the chip detector housing to be removed. To remove the chip detector, simply push in to overcome the spring tension and turn it counterclockwise to release the locking feature. The one inch wrench or socket will be used to remove the housing. The example being used is an inlet up engine that is mounted on the stand upside down for demonstration purposes. If the engine is mounted on the aircraft, the chip detector housing will be located at the six o'clock position and installed in the accessory gearbox. The inlet down models also have a chip detector housing mounted at the 6 o'clock position, but will be mounted in the nose cone housing instead of the accessory gearbox. The oil tank on the inlet down engines is part of the engine and the oil should be drained from it in addition to the gearbox prior to shipment. We'll now move into prepping the fuel system for shipment. You will need an adequate container that can be pressurized, an adapter to connect the fuel inlet, a suitable drain hose, and a bucket to preserve the fuel system. Using preserving fluid mill spec, PRF 6081 or equivalent, fill the container and pressurize it to 2 to 5 PSIG. Caution should be used to verify that the container is not overpressurized as damage to the fuel system is possible. Start prepping the engine by capping off the fuel pressure tap. Depending on model, this will either be located on the fuel filter bowl or on the fuel pump near the prop pitch control. Then connect the adapter to the fuel inlet fitting. This will allow me to connect the preservation container. Assuming the engine is removed from the aircraft, disconnect the tube that goes from the fuel shutoff valve to the inlet side. And connect a suitable drain hose and place the hose into the drain bucket. You can now hook up the pressurized container to the adapter that was previously installed on the fuel inlet fitting. The pressure from the container will push the preservation through the fuel without the need to power open the fuel shutoff valve. Continue to drain the fuel until fuel is not present and only preservation fluid is draining into the bucket. This is a simple effective way to complete the preservation of a 331 fuel system. 